Hello students, welcome back to computer science class. So now today uh, we are going to be learning menu driven programs. I had given you all uh, a program to practice last class, which is a menu driven program. A menu driven program is basically where we let the users decide. Uh, we give them uh, multiple options and we let the user decide and depending on the user's choice um, appropriate operations operation or appropriate action is taken so uh, i had told you all we are going to take two numbers from the user so the program should be something like this If you all have not used uh, float and you all have used integer, that's absolutely fine. Float is just uh, staying on the safer lines in case there is a user who enters a real number, you know. So we have a safety net because if you, if they try to enter fractional numbers in an and when the data type is integer, it could create a little problem. So if you have float and they, in, they, in, they input an integer number, it will not create a problem. So we say enter a number, or you can say enter the first number. Like that, we will even take another number from them, which is A and B. And finally, I'm you're going to use a variable called choice. Okay, and um, in choice, I'm going to say, uh, uh, what I'm going to be doing is, okay, before I enter choice, I'm going to print some statements for my user to see, which will say uh, select operation. So what select operation will do is, you know, it will just uh, let this users select what I want. And I'm going to say select operation. And I'm going to go to the next line and say one is uh, addition. And another line, I'm going to say two is subtraction. Another line, I'm going to say three is multiplication. And I'm going to say is division. Let's just, just okay. And then I'm going to say, um, here I'm going to take the user's choice. So I'm going to say choice equals to um, integer input. Let's see enter the corresponding number. enter the corresponding number to the operator. Okay, so up till now, uh, what is happening? I'm just gonna run this and show it to you. Okay. Let's run it. It says enter the first number three, second number five. And then it says operators one addition to subtraction, three multiplication, four division. Enter the corresponding number to the operator. So if I will say something like four, that's it. I'm, I've not written any code after this, but this is what uh, I have done up till now. 
So over here, the, uh, this is being displayed and then um, I will, whatever number the user will give me, four, three, two, or one, will be gone and it will be saved in the word choice. So now I'm going to do my if and L if statement. So I'm going to say if choice equals to equals to one. If choice equals to one, that is addition. So what will I do? I will print something which is, um, I will just use the direct my print statement and say A plus B and we will display the answer. Now, what if it's not choice, is not one? Then I'm going to go and say L if. That means if the choice is not one and else if the choice is two. If my choice is two, I'm going to say A minus B. Right? Oh. L if the choice is three, then I'm going to print A multiplied by B. Finally, okay. And I'm going to put an else statement over here because if the choice is not one, two, three, or four. So if you have some mis mischief mongers in your class or you have some mischief mongers who are trying your application or your code, then you have to put these statements. These are called exception statements, try catch statements in other languages where you try and catch the exceptions exceptions to the code so if a person has not entered so i will say invalid entry yeah or i can say you did not put in the correct number let's run this and check okay so the first number is three the second number is five enter the corresponding number to the operator let's do multiplication 15.0 because it was a float. My input when I take from the user as the numbers is float. So my output also comes as float. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is my output, which is 15.0 because my entry is also as floats. So my output also goes as float. Is this clear now? Is this uh, understood for you all? Okay, there are many tweaks that we can do in this, but uh, right now this is a menu-driven program where the user has the control. Okay, in this menu-driven program, uh, we have even put an invalid entry. So if, if I'm gonna run this code and I'm gonna say, you know, four and 19 or nine, whatever, and I'm gonna say something like seven, it will say invalid entry because that number is not there. All right, so this was called a menu-driven program. We are gonna do one more menu-driven program. And for that, I had asked you all to keep some codes ready with you all. And that was uh, area of circle, area of rectangle, circumference of a circle and area of square. Or if you all have, uh, you know, because this was a little long ago, so I really don't remember the exact one. I think I had changed one or two of these, but whatever. You need around four of area and uh, perimeter or circumference kind of codes ready with you all. If not, you can do it now or you can do it while alongside me, but make sure you're writing all these things down in your notebooks. Okay, so now... Uh, Okay, before we go to that program, because that is one program you all can do as homeworks, so I'm not going to do it over here for you. What I want you to do over here rather right now is uh, we have done this, okay, and I noticed one thing is suppose, let's say I did four and I did five. And I, I did, you know, let's say multiplication, but let's say I want to do addition also, but I'm already outside the program. So can I put a loop over there, which will let me stay inside the program? till I want. So let's say I go inside over here, I put a while loop, okay, and I'll say while um, you want to continue equals to equals to 
yes or equals to equals to i'll explain this just in a little while just give me a minute okay now let me explain you what i do over here okay so i took this one variable okay i've taken this one variable uh okay, i've taken this one variable new variable which is c which is equal to y c because uh, i feel you know continue the word i just took the first alphabet of that continue word C. I didn't go as A, B, C. Huh? It's just a coincidence. So I say C equals to Y. I have given the value to it, but I've given the value to it outside my while loop, not inside it. Now in the while loop, I am saying, I am putting a condition which is um, whether it equals to small y or a capital Y. Okay, whether it equals to small y or a capital Y, if any of this is true, you are going to go inside the loop. Right now, the first time that we run, we are giving the value as y, so it will go inside the loop. It will print all these operations. It will take a operator from the user and it will do whichever operation it wants. If it's a wrong entry, it will go to invalid entry and then it is going to ask the user, do you want to continue, write yes or no? If the user puts Y or a Y, it will go back here and it'll become true. It will again go inside the loop and it'll keep going, going, going till the user enters no or X or Z or anything that is not Y. So this was my logic and let's see if this logic is running. Enter the first numbers like five. Okay. Why is not defined Y? Did I get that error? Y is a string type variable, so I had to put quotes. Let's say division, uh, let's do multiplication. Do you want to continue? Yes. I want to do addition. Do you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. Let's do subtraction. Do you want to continue? Yes, I want to, okay, I, I wrote the number two over here instead of writing Y, so it stopped working, but I could have kept continuing. So this is uh, another important thing. So we've learned two things today. We've learned menu driven program and we have learned continue. Okay, and make sure you understand the logic because you will be using these loops and these while in other programs also. Like I tell you, these are like Lego blocks. So every time I'm teaching you a new block, you know, like a wheel, a loop, uh, an addition, a choice, a choice of the user whether he wants to run the program all over again or not. All these are different Lego blocks and you have to learn them very well so that you can mix match with other codes. Okay. So what I want you all to do as homework is um, you'll make a menu driven program and let the user decide for area of circle, area of rectangle, area of square, then you can do uh, circumference of 
circle, perimeter square, and perimeter. Yeah, something like this, I think should be good. Okay, so milieu driven program for all of this. Now pay attention to this very much. In this, it will be different from the program we just did because in the program we just did, we were doing addition, multiplication, subtraction, or division on the same two numbers. But over here, if you do area of square or, uh, or if you look at area of rectangle or an area of circle, the inputs are different. In rectangle, you're going to be looking with, you know, the length, breadth, height. In, in, uh, whereas in circle, you're going to be looking at, you know, uh, 3.4 pi, uh, pi, sorry, pi r square. So your formulas are different, your inputs are different. So what will happen is you're first going to ask the user in this. The menu driven program will work in this way. You will first ask the user, what do you want to do? Do you want to do area of circle, square, rectangle, whatever, whatever, whatever. Depending on the choice the user makes, then you will take your inputs. Then you will say, if the, if the user says, okay, I want the area of circle, then you will tell the you know, user, okay, give me the radius of circle. If the user tells you, I want to, I want to do circumference, uh, I want to do area of square. Suppose they say area of square, then you will say, okay, give me the side of the square. If they say area of rectangle, then you will say, okay, give me the length and the breadth. Depending on what the user wants to do, you will take inputs accordingly. So this is your program for the weekend. You're going to sit, do this program. You're going to uh, give me the final screenshot of the program. You will uh, WhatsApp me the final screenshot of this program so that I know you have done this work. So I've given you six things over here. You're going to do six uh, things for menu driven program of the user where the user will select what he or she wants to do. Is this clear? All right. So with this, I end today's class. I hope you all are safe at home. I will tell you all start coding because now this exam, I'm going to heavily give you all lots of coding answers and coding questions. And most of them will require you to write down the answer on a piece of paper and upload it. Okay, so uh, what I would require you for the upcoming exam is number one, arrange for a laptop to give your exam. Number two, uh, keep your mobiles handy, keep your uh, uh, pen paper hand handy because on the way, in the middle, uh, while writing the paper, suddenly you will have an upload question in the middle. So you will write the answer, click a picture, upload, transfer it to computer, upload it, and move further, Big, so that you don't, so that you don't miss onto the paper. Also, this particular paper will require you to do more uploading questions because it's going to be an 80 mark paper, and I will require you all uh, to write down all the information, you know, everything. So. Please make sure you have, you have your equipments ready for this examination. Start coding. Coding is very, very important. With this, I end today's class. Stay home, stay safe, take care, and keep learning. Thank you.